guys, Risque here, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So, last we left off, I was doing this driving school thing. And, and I really, we've come this far, so I do want to go ahead and finish it. It's just easier said than done, you know? Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I don't like this car. It is different than the one I had before. It controls much, much worse. That was insane. Insanity, I say. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I was trying to say, so I'm just gonna stop. Um, how are you guys? How's life? How are things? I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. It's, it's been ups and downs, you know? Like, this month sucked. Last month was still, still definitely worse. Shit. Oh my god. Okay. Well, does running over people count as damaging the car? I mean, I don't really care if they get hurt. No, I'll go this way. It's fine. Oh, this was stupid. This was stupid. This was stupid. This was really stupid. Oh god. Um. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I feel like July was not as bad as June was. June sucked ass. It it was it was a horrible horrible month. Okay, it isn't that damaged. It's just like fix the paint and nobody will know the difference. It, they'll be fucking hell. Why are we doing these donuts? I didn't consent to this. Good God, okay, anyway. They're just, yeah, it's fine. They're not gonna notice. I mean, like, it's pristine, bitch, pristine. Right? I mean, <laughs> the damage penalty really isn't as bad as it could have been. That's funny. Oh, Jesus Christ, just fucking restart me. It's fine. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. <sighs> but yeah, I'm excited to be recording today. I wasn't sure if I was going to end up recording today because of life, but I was like, you know what? I think we're going to be able to swing it. Um, next week, I might have to think of something clever because I have somebody coming into town to visit and so I'm gonna take a day off of rideshare to spend that day with them which means I may not be able to record in one day next week oh my god it's it's frustrating because it's like it feels like once you lose control you can't fucking regain it like it it started to control like Vice City did. <laughs> I don't miss the vehicle controls in that game. Go ahead, downvote me. I've noticed I think anytime I talk about, uh, negatively about Vice City, I get downvotes. It just wasn't my game, man. In retrospect, I can appreciate it more. Um, because <clears throat> I'm not actively playing it right now. It was just, for me, it was just very frustrating. It's still less damaged than we were last time. And we almost passed last time, surprisingly. So I think we're going to be okay <clears throat> as long as we can make it there in the next 15 seconds. Which I think we can do if the... No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, this is bringing back memories, not good ones. Okay, well, this is over. It spins out of control too many times, and I don't like it. Okay. I'm gonna exit out of the TV, because I feel like they gave me a different car than I had last time. I don't know if this is actually different, but we'll see. We'll see if it controls differently. 
Because I feel like the very first time I did it last episode, I feel like the car controlled way better. It could also be the fact that I, I am zooted. I took a little bit too big of a hit. It was bigger than I meant it to be. That could have something to do with it. It's just, I just feel like playing games high is just more fun. And I also, if I'm doing poorly, I have something to blame it on. Y'all, I'm addicted um, to... What? Okay. I didn't. Whatever. It's fine. So... Yeah, it's the same type of car, because it doesn't control much better, so that's a bummer. Just as long as I don't have to try to correct, I should be good. Because then, when I try to correct, then the car overcorrects, and then it's just, it's all downhill from there. Like, even if I just try to handbrake, like, it swerves me over, and I don't like it, man. This is why I can never drive a car like this in real life. Like, even when I had money, I still had my, my little Hyundai at the time. Oh my god. You're fine. I'll pay for your hospital bill. You'll be just fine. See, like, why did it do that? It didn't need to do all that. We're gonna get it this time. If we don't, I might have to take a break and go do something else and come back. Because I'm not going to spend this entire fucking episode on this one little thing. <clears throat> I refuse. But, uh, but yeah, so, it, oh, right, I was saying I'm addicted to these, uh, TikToks this girl posts where she's in, like, a Call of Duty, like, chat or whatever, or, like, lobby, and it's just guys making, like, oh, go make me a sandwich. Ew, you're a girl. Um, can, can we load, please? Jesus Christ, that was <laughs> really painful but anyway and then she uh like wipes out their whole team single-handedly and it's it's glorious it's very satisfying i i have to live vicariously through her because i don't play those games i i've never liked first person shooters um partially for that reason just because they're so toxic and plus, I've just never really been much of an online gamer. Um, I remember back when Resident Evil Outbreak came out, I would play online with that. People were mean! People were still mean back then. And that was like, like online gaming in its infancy. Like outside of like, computer games and stuff. So it was... It was wild for like fucking 10 year old me. And ever since then, I've just, I've never really just been a fan of online gaming. Like, I tried GTA Online and it was also toxic and I was not a fan. Um, also, the fact that GTA Online exists is the reason that GTA 6 still hasn't been a, like, come out. Like, it's because they milked it. They milked GTA Online for years when they could have been working on GTA 6. We should be waiting on like GTA 8 by now. But anyway, that's a whole complaint I have with the gaming industry in general that I'm not going to get into right now. Excuse me. We did it. Awesome sauce. Oh, Jesus. Hey! Got a trophy. And my driving skill increased. What's this way? Just another entrance, okay. 
All right. Well, thank you. Um, I will be... Uh, I will tell my friends to avoid this place like the plague. What up? Yo, CJ. It's like uh, Jethro, dude. Hey, Jethro. How is it? Yo, dude. The garage is coming along nicely, man. But I rang about something else. There's an unofficial street racing club in San Fierro. Unofficial as in illegal, right? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Anywho, they meet up around the driving school someplace. Thought you might, you know, like to know. Thanks, Jethro. I'ma think about it, and I'll holler at you. Later, man. I'm, I'm, no. Not right now. Later. We'll do it later. I actually am invested in, like, everything you can do in this game. So I'm like, I'll probably do, like, any side stuff. I mean, aside from, like, like taxi missions and shit like that. That I probably won't do. But, <clears throat> like, if there are payphone missions in this one, I mean, I guess we have a cell phone, so we don't need a payphone mission. But, anyway, let's, let's see what this is about. CJ, you got it? Hey, my cousin just called me. He gave me a tip about a baller's car going to San Fierro to score yay. Shit, we gotta find out who's supplying those cats. Read your mind, Holmes. I picked them up at the Maholan intersection, and I'm trailing them now. Okay, I'm coming to meet you. Better make it fast, Holmes. These boys are hanging around. Okay, let's go get Caesar. I'm on the way, Caesar. I don't know why I said said it that way. That was I regretted it as soon as it came out of my mouth. I'm sure anybody named Caesar is like, please, for the love of God, don't let my nickname be Caesar. Oh boy, this isn't getting me there. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Where the hell are you, dude? Okay, why couldn't they have given me a waypoint? And I still don't have a waypoint. Okay. Wait, is he, is he moving? Is that why? What the fucking hell? Okay. Okay, let me try to get on this highway if I can. I don't know. Hold on, let me turn around. Oh yeah, he said he was like, yeah, he was in a truck or something, right? Excuse me. And did he say something about Mulholland? Because that's too far north for me. Anytime I have to give rides out there, I'm like, oh god. It's stressful, because it's like, there's no service. I don't know that I'm going to get a ride back. So that's unpaid time. Y'all, rideshare has been fucking dead. And I genuinely hate it. Where the fuck am I? Commercial traffic only parking. Okay, you know what? Clearly I did a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, right has been fucking dead. So there's like nine hours last week that I'm not getting paid for. Where I was just like driving, trying to find a fucking trip. It was ridiculous. I'm really hoping that this week is better, because, yeah, something's got to give. And, um, I just have uh, some some beef with uh, the rideshare apps in general. Why are y'all charging customers ungodly amounts, and we aren't seeing any of that? Because they're paying us less, but I know they're charging y'all way more, like a ridiculous, like, Literally, for uh, a trip that a guy was charged 80 bucks, I got less than 30. I'm like, you gotta be shitting me right now. So yeah, that's my bone to pick with rideshare companies. Stop um, being soulless, greedy monsters. Just maybe. Just my, I need a new car. Hey, I... Either car will do, preferably yours. Just like something's gotta give. 
Okay, are we getting closer? No. No, I, I think I just made my life infinitely more difficult. Okay, it's fine. I can just follow this around. And then it'll it'll get me on the right path. But yeah, so my apologies to people that do take like lifts and Ubers that the prices have been absolutely insane. Just know we're not seeing any of that increase. I'm just like, you know, obviously like these companies are greedy as all hell. Like that duh. They're billionaires for a reason. But it's just like, usually they're a little bit better at hiding it. They've gotten, they, they've either just gotten really bad or they just don't give a shit anymore. Which I mean, is probably a mixture of the two. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, hey, this is car heaven. Oh, this is perfect. Yes. This worked out so well, I can't even tell you. I'm taking this one. And I saved my myself so much time. I think we're going this way. Excuse me. Oh, okay. The cop didn't see it. Good deal. That's literally all that matters. I'm just like, it's not my fault. So keep that in mind. Are you shitting me right now? <laughs> I want... I want to be mad, but it was like kind of impressive. I, I want to be mad though. Inside I'm mad. No. No, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. We we went wrong somewhere. God damn it, these poles. I hate them. I hate them all. Okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Okay, what do I need to do to get on that ramp? Go this way. Okay. That I can do. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Right? Yes. Oh my god, we're about to be there. So exciting. Yikes. I'm almost there, Caesar. Sorry, it... We had some complications. How is your tractor okay after that? Whatever. Video game logic. Am I right or am I right? Oh. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of hilarious. Okay, I'm hopping in, I'm hopping in. Am I gonna... Where we going? They were headed over Angel Pine Way. Follow the road and maybe we can pick them up. I'm just like, why couldn't we just meet there in the first place? You know, why'd I have to meet you out here? The Caesar, I don't understand your train of thought. Like if he didn't have a car, then that would have made a little more sense. Been like, oh, okay, we need to go pick Caesar up. Gotcha. But He had a car, so it's just like, where? Why did I have to come pick you up out in the middle of nowhere if you already had a car? Excuse me. And I imagine I can't let this car get damaged too much, because he seems pretty dead set on me driving his car like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. The 
way they just fucking <laughs> flew off the side. <laughs> oh my god, that's like my worst nightmare. <laughs> just imagine you're just fucking sitting there trying to go to work. And some fucking asshole just <laughs> wraps a teeth from behind from an angle where you're you just you just can't help it. You just fly off the side. Ooh. <laughs> I know I'm going to hell for laughing at that, but it's so fucking funny. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm really gonna try not to think about it because it's gonna really. That's good. I hope you died from that collision because that was entirely your fault. It reminds me of this video, <laughs> like, this car, I don't know what country it was in, um, but I don't think it was anywhere in America, um, but like, it, this person's driving like an absolute asshole, they like, turn around a corner super sharply, and there are some cars parked on the side of the street, and like, right next to where the cars are parked is like a big ass like ravine or something full of water. Which I'm just like, it's stupid to park your car right next to that anyway. You're just asking for trouble at that point. But exactly what you would expect to happen happens. And it is the car and it just flies into the ravine. And it's, I just can't imagine being that person. <laughs> like coming out and not seeing your car there being like, what the fuck? And then you like, wonder, did somebody steal it? And then, no, nope, it's just at the bottom of this lake ravine thing. All right, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. We'll pick this up in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>